uh, Mr. Manoj Reddy, yes. hearty congratulations on securing All India Rank 12 in Electrical Engineering in ESC 2021. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, uh, Mr. Manoj Reddy, you tell us uh, what type of coaching program that you have availed from our AC Engineering Academy. Sir, I have taken mains uh, uh, coaching coaching in 2018, sir. Okay. Uh, later on in 2019, I have joined the mains test series also. Okay. Which helped me to get over my mistake what I have committed in 2018, sir. Good. Yeah, because in 2018, uh, I lacked performance in mains exam uh, due to writing skills. So that I have covered uh, through mains test series in 2019, sir. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Manoj, uh... Which college are you from? I am from NAT Calicut, sir. NAT Calicut. When did you pass out? 2013. 2013? Yeah. So what have you been doing all from that? Time uh, later, months? in 2013, I was selected in Hindustan Aeronautics Limited as an aero engineer, sir. So I continued my service for four and a half years in that uh, company. Later on, in 2018, I appeared for GATE and ESC. So GATE, I got All India 99 rank, sir. Uh, in continuation to that, I have, uh, I have secured uh, Transco and SPD cell jobs also in Telangana. So I opted for Transco because I was very confident about my ESC 2018 result, which I didn't get uh, get through. So later on, from there, from there onwards, I started uh, my uh, this thing in uh, Transco, sir, as an extended engineer. Later in 2020 also, I have given uh, ESC uh, interview also. But we, for which I was not selected. Later into uh, now this year, 2021, I was selected the finally. Okay, very good, uh, nice ready. Yeah, I mean, Manoj ready. Manoj ready. Manoj ready. Uh, I can say this is your uh, serious uh, third attempt, right? Yeah, yes, sir. Third attempt. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Manoj, uh, uh, see this uh, engineering series examination has a uh, two stages, prelims as well as the mains one, right? Yes, sir. So, how did you prepare up to the prelims examination and how did you prepare up to the prelims examination? So, basically, for prelims exam, we need to have a very good mathematical knowledge for before any electrical knowledge because uh, uh, the speed matters in prelims, sir. So, for that, uh, for the second technical, uh, for the second paper, that is our technical paper, I have practiced more problems. I mean, I, I used to practice around uh, 150 to 200 questions in uh, three hours, sir, every day. So I had to keep, I used to keep some time limit for that and I used to solve all the problems. So that's how I increased my speed also. So from there on, uh, uh, later after the prelims, uh, I started preparing for main sir, which is more uh, subjective, orient, uh, subjective oriented wise, where we need to write the solution step by step and we need to maintain that fastness also. Okay, Manoj, uh, see in your prelims examination, sure. calculate is not allowed. So you come across basically theoretical questions, but a few questions you see which require some small, small mal calculations also. Yes, sir. So did you make any specific preparation to solve those numericals? Yes, sir. It is about more about some, some for some calculations, we need to make some uh, assumptions, sir. So, uh, so that fastness you'll get only with practice. So I used to practice more number of problems without calculator, where I used to solve most of the gate questions also without calculator, sir. So that helped me in uh, achieving this. Okay, right. Uh, so by seeing the options, we can have some guessing. Yeah, we can, yeah, yeah. We normally can have some values, uh, like for example, G value, accelerated to gravity 9.81, etc. You can take approximately 10 in some 10. calculations. Yes, sir. That will be near to the result also. Yes, so sir. in prelims also, first of all, when you read the question, you need to look at the options also, where you, if the answers are far away from each other, then you can go for approximations and calculate it easily. If they are near to that, then you have to make a proper calculation. Sir. So I yes. used to spend more time on those questions where the options are very near and I used to spend less time where the questions are, where the options are very far from each other. Yes, sir. that is a good point, uh, Manoj. Yeah. The uh, aspirants of ESC examination, they may make a special note of this one. Yes. So whenever you have some calculations, uh, objective question, it's better to see first this, what you call options given there. If they are close to each other, then you have to go for detailed calculation with the actual values. Yes, sir. Otherwise, yes. you can take a guess, you can take some approximate round figures, you can do the calculations. Yes, sir. And fine. in most of the questions also, uh, they will ask for uh, which of the following is not correct. Instead of correct, they will ask for not correct, where we get confused. So you need to stress on those points. And you, when you're reading question, if there is a not, you need to mark that uh, not uh, yes, yes. symbol, sir. Yes. Yes. That is correct. Uh, 
you have to find out, first of all you have to look at which are the correct otherwise not correct statements yeah, yeah. and accordingly you have to choose the statements there yes, that's sir. fine uh, uh, mr manoj reddy uh, when it comes to the vertical prelims examination again you have what you call paper one that is uh, general studies and paper two technical with yes. regard to the general studies there you have around 10 topics there right so what yes, was sir. your approach in the general studies paper Sir, uh, actually, I have kept a very less target for general studies, sir, because my concentration is more on technical. So general studies, uh, where some of the subje subjects like quality, project management, where it involves mathematics also, and engineering drawing. So I used to prepare more on those pro those subjects, sir, and ethics also, which is like ethics, if you study it before the exam, like uh, two, or, two or three days before the exam, if you have a look at, uh, look at uh, all the statements, so you can remember while seeing the option itself. So I concentrated on ethics at the last moment, whereas the other subjects like materials, where the problems are involved. So I, I used to study more on that, sir. So what you have done regarding this current affairs? So current affairs, I used to, uh, I mean, uh, ACE also used to provide that current affairs book, sir. So I used to go through once because if, if we see the option, at least we can, we can get an idea about uh, which is the right answer. So I used to go through it once and uh, somehow I was able to get into some questions also. I was able to solve some of the current affairs questions also, sir. Okay, good. Uh, Manoj, uh, when it comes to the what you call uh, mains uh, preparation, yes, sir. Uh, so there you require to answer the what you call the descriptive type of questions where yes. you require to maintain the speed and accuracy, the selection of questions. Yes, sir. You require a lot of practice also there. So yeah. how this uh, test series helped you in the preparation? Yes, sir. when I attempted in 2018, uh, I, I had no knowledge of uh, the selective questions, sir. I mean, uh, I thought of uh, solving all the questions in a serial manner. So because I was very confident uh, when I was preparing for the, those exams. And I, uh, after the mains exam, uh, then I realized that this was not the criteria that I should attempt. So next year, while uh, writing this 2019 uh, main test series, First, I, I used to spend around 10 minutes to select the questions, sir. Because uh, selecting the questions is very important. So I used to spend 10 minutes for that. Later on, I used to start solving which questions give me more marks. Like if it is a uh, theory, uh, uh, mathematical question, then obviously I'll get more score than solving a theoretical question, sir. So I used to concentrate first on mathematical questions. I used to complete them. Then I used to go for theoretical questions. Right. Yes. That uh, selection of questions as a time management. Uh, this yeah, thing. and the time management also. We uh, like uh, if it is a 60 marks questions, I used to keep around 45 minutes for those questions. Sir. For first and fifth, where it involves five questions each, I used to spend one hour each. Okay, uh, not one hour, around 45 minutes, I guess. Around 45 minutes. And for the remaining three questions, 60 marks, I used to spend one and a half hours. Sir. Yeah. Okay. So could you solve all the questions there, all the five questions in a given time? Uh, no, sir. Actually, in first paper, I was not able to solve all the questions. But in second paper also, it was a bit lengthy, sir. But uh, uh, except uh, 40 marks, I have solved all the questions, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah. One more, uh, Mr. Manoj. Yeah. Up to the prelims examination, yeah. apart from the prelims type of questions, did you also practice uh, anything related to the mains portion? Uh, related to the mains portion, yeah, uh, I mean, communications are basically where in prelims point of view, communication subject is, uh, I mean, they go for uh, small bits, whereas in mains exam, uh, it will be a little bit lengthy questions. So I uh, used to concentrate on such. And uh, second thing is this machines, uh, machines and power systems, because in machines and power systems, if you go for a prelims exam, the questions are a bit small. Like uh, they don't involve much calculations, whereas in mains exam, they concentrate more on this machines questions where it involves more of calculations. Sir. So I used to practice uh, at least uh, once in a, uh, I mean, uh, thrice, in, thrice in a week, I used to solve only machines questions and power system questions. So for the other four days, I used to concentrate on remaining subjects. Sir. Right. Uh, Manoj, while preparing for this examination, right, yeah. let me prelims or mains, what it may be. Uh, when you are preparing daily, uh, did you prepare only one subject or otherwise more than one subject to have some change? Uh, it is more than one subject, sir, because uh, when I started my preparation in 2018, it was like uh, I used to do each subject. One, once I complete one subject, then I used to go for next subject. So after completing five, six subjects, again, I used to get doubts in first subject, sir. 
so uh, that has lacked some prepare some preparation time sir so in to the after that in 2020 and 2021 uh, i used to solve parallelly because i, I know that i am uh, i mean thorough with the theoretical part so i had to practice only problems so from then on i started uh, preparing three subjects at a time sir okay good yeah. uh, manoj while attending our uh, i mean uh, classroom coaching you would have prepared some Uh, what to call running notes etc yes, and sir. while preparing for this examination did you prepare additionally any short notes uh basically uh, for two or three subjects i have prepared for sh- short notes sir one is uh, this machines where it involves graphs and everything so i used to remember that graphs and second one is a material science where it involves many formulas which we have to remember and the third thing is communication sir because in that also we have to remember more number of formulas so i prepared for that also for remaining thing uh i mean i don't i, I don't have the opportunity sir, because I, i was very thorough with those subjects so i think good good yeah. uh manoj yes. in electrical engineering there are many subjects right so if you talk about the mains examination yeah in the mains examination paper 1 can yeah. you name two highly scoring subjects uh one is material science and other one is electrical circuits material science and electrical circuits uh, circuits right networks what about paper 2 paper 2 machines and control systems sir if it is only two but in second paper it involves many questions like uh, from analog also you can score more sir okay yeah good right uh, how was your interview experience mr manoj yeah interview was good sir because uh, because you, you know let me you had a vast uh, what you call work experience in different uh, roles yeah yes yeah, sir definitely so, there would have been some questions on your work profile yes sir they basically i have worked in hindustan aeronautics limited so sir, they have put me some questions on hindustan aeronautics limited also like how the helicopter flies how the aircraft flies and those those things which i was very thorough so i was able to answer luckily uh, and in a technical paper also uh, in, in uh, where currently i'm as i'm working in transco they have put me some questions re- regarding the job profile sir where uh, in some questions i was not able to get what what is that point i mean what they want to ask i was not getting that point sir really in some questions i faced that problem but anyway uh, i was able to get over that sir good yeah uh, manoj from this uh, successful journey yes sir uh, will you please share some useful tips or strategies uh, to the aspirants of engineering series examination in general sure. and electrical students in particular sure sir yeah basically if you want to prepare engineering services you need to have, you need to have a consistency in preparation and you need to have uh, you need to spend more time on solving problems sir so if we first it is better to go for by stage by stage see when you are preparing when if it is a prelims exam you need not prepare for mains exam sir first if it is prelims concentrate more on pri- uh, problems you solve uh, uh, 200 to 300 problems per day which will improve your uh, mathematical skills also and uh, uh, after that uh, if it is, when it comes to mains exam you concentrate more on the uh, written solving part like step by step, how to follow the step by step procedure also and if it comes to general studies you need to pick the right subjects sir because uh, maybe you may not be thorough in all the subjects of general studies so if you want keep a target for yourself like if it is 130 marks for out of 200 keep a target yourself select the questions which you want to solve fastly and also uh, select the questions which are you are thorough in so that will help you in cracking that exam sir easily yeah very good points uh, manoj very good points yeah uh, manoj uh, i would like to ask about your father and mother what are they from sir, the my father presently working as a deputy general manager in singreni college company limited sir okay. my mother is a retired uh, government teacher and uh, i have a, 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 a elder sister also she she is also working in atnt company and uh, he her uh, husband is an ias officer sir presently working in assam good so I also get, got many tips from him sir that right. I, i was able to crack this exam good manoj uh, your parents must be very proud of you yes sir uh, yeah, actually sister. they were waiting since long time for my results sir finally uh, they expressed their it. happiness by shouting sir after <laughs> getting the result good you convey our best wishes to them yeah sure sir. thank you sir yeah and i, I thank you for joining us uh, and sharing uh, i would like to mention some of my friends names also Please. so 
please yeah. yeah if, uh, when it comes to office uh, my friends like akshita lakshmi ram gopi yogita helped me a lot sir and also uh, mainly i used to play cricket also even my captain used to suggest me a lot of things uh, captain and sports officer also sports officer jagga sir and uh, captain hashim hashim sir uh, and uh, also my roommates praveen and chanakya they helped me a lot sir because uh, uh, while during the preparation time also they used to prepare food for me so that uh, uh, my time will not get consumed doing other works right. so okay. all all of them and also my college friends like ragu kiran everyone has motivated me to prepare for this exam sir even though i was not uh, selected i was down because of uh, two or three attempts they motivated me that you will definitely achieve it so i was yeah. able to crack everything uh, that too so having got so much work experience one needs to have some motivation to continue preparation yeah yes sir and uh, working and parallel preparation is really hard thing Yes. maybe some more I, i was able to clear this exam sir okay yeah. good sir. good manoj so thank you for joining us and thank wish you, you all good luck and all. yeah yeah please sir. Sir. and i wish all the students who are preparing for engineering services to get into engineering services and do better for india right right thank you thank you and sir. wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors thank you sir hope hope your support will be always with us sir right good Thank you. Thank you once again.